big update on Bear, the really emaciated skinny dog. And honestly, it's 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 not what I expected. I was a little worried there for a minute. So I, I want to bring you some updates and I'm on the farm too. So I'll have Kobe come say hi because I know a lot of you have been asking how my dog's doing. And so I'll tell you, but first, okay, let, let's, uh, let's talk about a couple things with, with this dog because uh, he was really emaciated and on the... Um, on the kennel card, it said Doberman. And you know, the, a, a lot of people almost got like, uh, got borderline upset. <laughs> You're like, he's a Vizsla. And uh, Vizsla, Vizsla, Vizsla. I don't know, I never say that 100% right. Anyway, a lot of you say he's a Vizsla, which I haven't worked with a lot. And the shelter, they're intaking so many dogs so fast. Like they would love to give so much time and so much assessment to every single one of the dogs but they're dealing with thousands and thousands and thousands of dogs that come through every year. So um, they just can't. And there, I think that there's some Vizsla and some Doberman, a, less Doberman, I think, than Vizsla. But I say this because this is a very skinny dog breed right out of the gate. And then you go with some malnourishment and no food and wow, you get some very like harsh results very quickly. And um, a lot of people say, oh, well, you know, it's not fair to assume this dog could have got out and been running around for a few weeks. Yeah, this is still months and months of neglect. And yes, could this dog have been out for months and months? There is a small chance that that's a possibility, but unlikely, especially the area he was found in. You know, he's not a coyote. Like he... <laughs> He's unlikely to be able to hide and go unnoticed. And he was found at Chick-fil-A, like trying to get food as a friendly dog. So nonetheless, the owners uh, would not respond. They would, you know, everyone says, well, animal control should go out and handle this and deal with it. And they try. They, they do their checkups and they do everything they can, but they're dealing with a, a, just a territory so large that they can only do so much. The good thing is, the outcome is that when this dog... Uh, and I keep saying this dog versus referring to the name. I'm going to tell you why here in a minute. This dog is in a safer space in the shelter, unfortunately, than they were in whatever situation they were before. Now, here's what happened. So this video, so many of you were just so awesome about watching this video, sharing this video, so passionate. And I think you felt the same connection I did sitting in that kennel with him and just the, the kind of the pain he had gone through and the heartbreak and heartache and how he was... Uh, coming out of his shell and he wanted to be loved and he wanted to give love. And so, so many of you connected and you're like, okay, update, update, update. <laughs> but it takes time and this took more time than I thought it would. And that's not necessarily a bad thing because there were people that were interested. And look, in between that time, the shelter team gave him so much love. Mel had the chance to groom him, which really helped. It, it just made him feel so much more comfortable. And she is so good at making these dogs feel comfortable. I shared it in a community post. So make sure you're subscribed if you want updates like that as we go along. He was so happy and excited to come out. But he does look so much better. I can see the weight already getting on him. It looks good. So much better, don't you think? Yeah, he doesn't look as bony. No, the beautiful coloring. It's almost like a chestnut, huh? It's okay. It's okay. Fly or or I think it's fly. It's not fleas, but fleas kind of look like that too. Gosh, any owner that would starve a dog like this doesn't deserve to have it bad. Oh, it's really this is a eucalyptus oil and moisture to his skin that maybe it's lacking because he's so underweight and so malnourished. This might help refresh and uplift the, the hair nice. Make it feel moist, you know. I love anything eucalyptus. That feels good. And then I put a medicated on his ears. He's going to have a beautiful coat. I can already tell. Very nice teeth. Wanna smile? Wanna smile? No? <laughs> Feels so nice. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. He's 
ready. Yes, you look good. You look good. Good job. You did good boy. You did good boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you feel so handsome now. Sit. Can you sit? Sit. 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 No, he doesn't know. He's like, I know this room. After a few days after he was off his hold, this happened. I found out that he was adopted, which is good. Let's celebrate. I have more adoption photos to show you, but let me tell you at first why I was worried. I wasn't getting like pictures and information so that I could update you guys. This video right here is going out to you members first. Thank you. And if you're a couple, watching it a couple days later, it's because I'm releasing it wide to everyone because everyone will always get the updates. But I sent it out to members first because I've had situations where a dog gets adopted. You don't hear anything for like 48 hours and the dog gets returned. They go, this didn't, this didn't work. And I don't want that yo-yo because it's not, it's not reflective on the shelter necessarily. Sometimes it's, it's just a situation and um, it, it's less common than more common, but it happens. And when there are millions and millions of people watching this, I don't want anyone to get the wrong impression that uh, anybody's at fault for that sort of situation. So I had to wait and I wasn't getting the pictures, but then it's because I found out that the new family was taking videos and pictures and was just taking a minute to try to figure out what they thought was a perfect name and start an Instagram account. So I'm going to share that Instagram account with you guys so you can go follow and you can be a part of this journey with him. And let me tell you his name. So I'm not saying the original name Bear uh, that was in the system because I just, I've never been I've never wanted someone to change the dog's name so much because when I said his name, you could just see him. Bear. 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 Does that ring a bell, buddy? And so they renamed him Shadow Moon, which I think, which I, I absolutely love. It's good. That's good news. There's just so much information that I needed to update you guys on. And I just want to thank all of you from the bottom of my heart. If you're a member, thank you. It, it helps us continue to do what we're doing. I, I sit in kennels with dogs. I, I have for so long and I never thought like, I just never imagined we, so many of us would be on this journey together. And it's so cool because you, you like I can sit with dogs. I will always sit with dogs because I believe it helps them and uh, I love it. You are the reason that Shadow Moon has been adopted. You are the reason that the shelter gets the positive light shown on them and how how much they're doing to save these animals. You are the reason people see this video and they go, you know what, I'm gonna go adopt a dog uh, and, and look for, for full breed dogs like Vizslas or Dobermans or, or German Shepherds at the shelter versus buying. Like I'm gonna consider adoption first. You're the reason for that. And, and you can do what I'm doing. I know I say that again and again and again. And, and even if it's not sitting with dogs, like you can do what I'm doing in, in regards to fostering and adopting or sharing a video about a dog you saw that you want to help get adopted. You know, I'm sitting with dogs, but over the years, I've also been fostering dogs and adopting dogs. And speaking of, you guys want to see Kobe? Some of you are so new to this, you may not even know Kobe. I'll tell you his story. Let me grab him though. <laughs> there he is. He was in the den sound asleep. Hi, buddy. I want to tell, I want to tell people some stuff about you. Hi, buddy. Come here. He runs into stuff because well, he's blind. Hi, Bubba. Hi. <laughs> You're a good boy. So uh, if you don't know Kobe, he's blind. Only half of his heart works. Come here, Kobe. He was not supposed to be alive this long. He's three years old. He was only supposed to live to like six months. Kobe, sit. Um, and all of you who do know Kobe and love Kobe as much as I do, he's doing so good. Like he is living his best life. He's eating regularly. His weight is filled out. And he's just the happiest boy. For, for about five months after we lost Flip, he wet the bed every night. You know, he already has that problem because of his medications, but he is doing so good right now. He's so well balanced. We lost Zoe too oh, a couple months ago. She was an older gal and she wasn't, she wasn't, she was fine with Kobe. She just wasn't looking to play with him or anything like that. So he, that did not affect him as much, but come here, bud. 
Look at that. That makes me so happy. Thank you guys. My heart is so full right now just because I'm on this journey with all of you and we are saving lives together and that is just awesome. And here's Shadow Moon's Instagram if you want to go follow. Uh, that way you'll get all the updates. And remember, you can always go to RockyKanaka.com. I We update everything on the blog as soon as we can. So check it out there as well.